chair recognize the Honorable uh, Selvin Richards. Ms. Richards, you have the floor. I like the way you say my name, Selvin Richards. That's real Bermudian. <laughs> uh, Mr. Acting Speaker, I'm not going to take a long time because we're all hungry up, up in this place, Deputy Speaker. We're all hungry up in this place and miss my lunch. But I, f I felt that I needed to get to my feet to lend my support to the comments that were made earlier today by the member from constituency number 16, MP Mike Weeks. You know, Mr. Speaker, he made some very salient points in his comments that a country is only judged by how we treat and take care of the least of us. And we have a problem in this country, obviously, with homelessness. When I walk through the city and I see primarily black men sleeping on benches on Front Street, sleeping in bushes in our public parks. I saw a gentleman I was driving the other day. He was, it was like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. He was fast asleep on a bench. And you could tell that, you know, he was someone who was challenged with having a place to live. And, you know, we live in a fast-paced world. We're all living our lives and taking care of our families and having different challenges and whatever we're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's easy to become immune and almost blinded to the plight of our homeless people. So when the member, MP Weeks, got to his feet earlier today, you know, he, he, he touched me with his comments, Mr. Deputy Speaker. And I can also relate to his comments because I, too, said in the seat where I was meeting with the then major of the Salvation Army about the challenges with the current homeless shelter down there on Parsons Road, North Hamilton. And we were working when I was minister, along with my PS at the time, to come up with a solution. And this was something that predated our time when we were in government and it continues even now. So the question is, the question I have today is, what is being done with the Bishop Spencer building that was donated to the Salvation Army to redevelop into a multi-purpose facility for the homeless? This facility, and there have been ministerial statements brought to this place over the last couple of years about the development of the Bishop Spencer facility. It was not only to house people who are challenged with having a place to stay, but also it was going to have a kitchen. There, I believe, was going to be a barber shop and facilities there to aid with drug rehabilitation and teaching life skills and various other things, various other things that will help people to get back on their feet and to function in society as best that they can. Mental health treatment facilities and all that was supposed to be under one roof. Now that's going quiet. So I would like to hear from the government whichever minister would speak to this, about what is going on up there with the Bishop Spencer facility. Because I do know that there were negotiations going on, and some of the negotiations were that government would donate the building, the Bishop Spencer building, and the Salvation Army would actually renovate the building, and they were going to go on a fundraising effort to raise monies to renovate that building, and the government had pledged uh, funds for the annual operation of the facility. And like I said, there's been radio silence on that in recent months. 
So I just wanted to back up what the Honorable Member Weeks said. And you know, he speaks from a position, as he stated, he knows social work. He knows the challenges of dealing with the homeless and he worked at the shelter and whatnot. So I just want to lend my support and that this should be a bipartisan effort. This is something that we all agree on. And we're put here in this place for a reason and taking care of our homeless is a noble one. So I would encourage the government, the Premier, the Minister of Public Works, the Minister of Health, let's give this finally the attention that it deserves and let the Bermudian people know what are the plans in this regard. Thank you, sir.